Today you're going to be seeing different examples of how preppers will be wiping their butts after SHTF when our beloved toilet paper runs out. And maybe some of these examples will work for you in your SHTF plan right after the channel intro. Okay, let's paint this scenario that SHTF has happened and some kind of an, an event has caused our grid to completely shut down and supplies have stopped being delivered to the grocery store and you can no longer get your hands on the beloved toilet paper that we all love so much. Now, many preppers have been stockpiling toilet paper in their prep so that they have a way to wipe their behind after SHTF. Now, one problem that I have with that, and this is for myself, is that toilet paper takes up a lot of space to stockpile. And then whatever you do have stockpiled, you really have to seal it up tight because mice and other pests really love that stuff. Now, if stockpiling toilet paper is what you prefer to do, please know that I am not knocking your decision. What I'm just simply doing here is stating options in this video that might help other preppers. And there's a lot of preppers out there that go by the old adage that toilet paper is a recent invention and that the human race went thousands of years before without toilet paper. So if SHTF happens, they will just go without toilet paper again. But for me personally, that is just something that I would really prefer to stave off as long as possible. And then some preppers will say that they are just planning on using leaves or whatever other natural items that they might find around them. And that will probably work to some extent as long as you don't have two feet of snow over your leaves or there's actually uh, fallen leaves to begin with. And then another option is using old rags or torn up t-shirts or torn up shirts or stuff like that to, uh, to wipe your behind with. But we're gonna talk more in a minute of, how, of why I think that is a more of a temporary solution instead of more of a long-term solution. But one of the things that I have done, and I did get this from Canadian Preppers Channel, is that I bought two boxes of the 500 count uh, Wizzy, Wizzy Wipes, or Wizzy Wipes, however you say them. So now I have 1,000 of these uh, to be able to wipe my behind after SHTF. And each one of these jars, a jar like this, contains just about uh, 200 YZ wipes in each one, and then I've got five total of these jars. And if you're not familiar with these uh, YC wipes, is what you do is you just add a little bit of water to it and then it expands out, and then it makes a great little uh, wet piece of uh, toilet paper for you. And if I remember correctly, a box of 500 of these will cost you about 35 or 40 bucks per box. Now these still aren't my permanent solution, and we'll get more into my permanent solution here in a few moments, but I definitely think that these YC wipes will be a definite temporary solution. And to be honest, I would love to have the amount of money that it would take to buy all of these that I would need for the rest of my life to make these a permanent solution for me. But what I really like about these is just how compact that they are. And then when you just drop them into a little bit of water, they really expand out making a handy little cloth to wipe with. And I have to admit, having a wet cloth to wipe yourself with leaves you feeling a lot more clean than using dry toilet paper. And these things are also biodegradable, meaning that you can bury these with the, uh, rest, uh, with the rest of your business and they will degrade on their own. Now the way that I store these are is first I put a canning lid on it and then I use my vacuum sealer's lid attachment to vacuum all of the air out of it so these should store for long term. And I've never tried to do a side-by-side -side comparison with these versus toilet paper to see how much more compact these are than toilet paper, but what you're seeing here on the screen now is the equivalent of 1,000 butt wipings. But now let's get into what I think is the more permanent solution for wiping your butt after SHTF. And that's actually getting these reusable cloth wipes that are actually designed for you to wipe your butt with. And these type of reusable cloth wipes are actually getting more and more popular with the people that are trying to live off grid or go the more natural route. Now these cloth wipes, you use them just like you would toilet paper when you're finished using the restroom. And then when you're finished uh, using them, then you just throw them into a bucket or some other receptacle. And then every couple of days, you just simply wash them off. And yes, you heard correctly, every couple of days, you would wash all of the dirty ones 
so that you can use them over and over and over again. Now I've done some research on these reusable cloth wipes and I've read a couple different articles where the experts warn that you could get sick in the process. You could make yourself sick uh, in the process of washing these. And from what I've picked up of the articles that I've read is that the use of these isn't actually what can make a person sick. It's when the person doesn't utilize the proper precautions when they are washing them to make sure that they don't get sick. So if it was after SHTF and I were having to wash these every couple days, the way that I personally would do it is that first of all, they would get a long, a good long soak in a bucket. And of course the buckets that we would use to wash these in would be for buckets that were designated for these only. And then they would be transferred to a second bucket with that would have some soap in there and also a little bit of chlorine that, would, that I would make from the pull shock to help kill any pathogens that might be in there. Now I wouldn't use so much bleach that it would start tearing down the fibers in the cloth, but just enough bleach to kill any pathogens that might be in the water and that might get on your clothes or on you as you're washing them. And then after that thorough washing, then I, they would be transferred to another bucket for a thorough rinsing. And then they would be hung up to dry after that where the sunlight, the sun's rays, would actually kill any pathogens that still remained on them. And then I guess if you actually had the extra firewood, it probably wouldn't hurt for you to get the water that you're going to wash these in uh, extremely good and hot to also again help kill any pathogens that might be on these. Now these things seem to run between 50 cents to a dollar per cloth wipe just depending on how fancy you get them and then depending on where you buy them at. And where I purchased mine at I will actually put a link down below uh, so you can check them out if you're interested. Now I have actually tested these out and I will be honest with you, you get them a little wet before you use them and again these will leave you feeling a lot more cleaner uh, than regular dry toilet paper does. Really the only advantage that I see toilet paper having over these cloth wipes or the white sea wipes is that when you're finished with toilet paper you just throw it in the toilet and, and it flushes and it goes away and you don't have to worry about it anymore. Now the reason why I think that old rags and cut up t old t-shirts are more of a temporary solution is is because once something starts falling apart on you that's when you convert it into a rag. And I believe that these reusable cloth wipes are made to be much more durable for continuous usage and also the heavy duty washing that you'll put these through. Now I think that it wouldn't hurt to keep old rags and old t-shirts and stuff like that around that you could cut up to use for toilet paper. I just don't think they will last as long as these will. Now like most things in prepping everything has a ripple effect. So if you do opt to go with this route then you will obviously need the extra water in order to be able to do, to do the washing with them. And that's just another reason why I suggest every prepper if they can to have a rainwater catchment system so that they have uh, the extra water to do stuff like this. Now if I lived in an apartment where I could not have rainwater then I, what I would do then in that case is I would buy a lot more of these YZ wipes uh, to use those instead. And then again for uh, obtaining the bleach or the chlorine to wash these with I've done a video in the past of how you can actually make your own bleach out of pool shock which would be great for after SHTF and I will put a link to that video down below. Now I think the important thing to consider is that eventually after SHTF all of this store-bought store stuff will be used up. The, if you use toilet paper or stockpile toilet paper eventually that's going to run out. If you buy bunches of these YZ wipes eventually they're going to run out also. So we're going to eventually be forced to go to something that's reusable or renewable like these cloth wipes. And of course over time these two will also eventually break down just like when you wash your clothes and wear them. Eventually they will break down too. But my personal thoughts are by the time these actually break down to the point that they are no longer usable after SHTF then I think at that length of time as SHTF has continued and progressed that you will see a lot of people that will start utilizing or, or starting uh, old time skills like making uh, like making fabric out of uh, out of wool etc. So I think that the smart way to play this would be that after SHTF that you do use your old rags and your old cut up shirts until they just completely fall apart on you. And then when it's that time of the season when you have large leaves that you can collect then you use those so that 
you're, sa you're, you're saving any rags or YZ wipes or these reusable cloth wipes as much as possible. And then when you can't get your hands on any uh, leaves or anything like that, then you go to your YZ wipes and then you go to these reusable cloth wipes. It, the, the idea behind this is that you're using as much as everything that you can uh, to extend everything as much as possible. And so if you're interested in these YZ wipes, I will put a link down below to Canadian Prepper's website where he sells them there. And then if you're interested in checking out these reusable cloth wipes, I will also put a link down in the description box also. So. And folks, this video was about how preppers will be wiping their butts after SHTF, not what we will be doing with our waste. That is a whole separate video for a whole separate time. Now let's see if we can make this video a wealth of information for anybody that stumbles across it. What is your plan for wiping your behind after SHTF? Are you stockpiling toilet paper or are you planning on using something else? And if you would like to learn how preppers make their own homemade bleach, their own homemade chlorine when the stores are closed and you can't buy bleach off the shelves anymore, then click on the video that should be appearing at the top of the screen just about now to learn more about that. And to learn about an extremely simple and extremely cheap way that preppers can do laundry after SHTF, then click on the video that should be appearing on the right side of the screen just about now. Anyways, folks, if you made it this far, hey, thank you very much for watching, and I pray that you have a good night.